Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And I hope you are doing very, very well. And you might wonder what the flying F is this abomination on your head? Well, there is only one way to describe everything. Roll the story! To you. 100 for Mohawk on the um, pubes. Nice try. Fellas, why do you think why do you think you can buy me? Absolutely disgusting. Everyone is skill. 100, 100 bucks for green Mohawk. Skill 100 bucks for green Mohawk. Disgusting, fellas. Disgusting. I'm afraid to say 700 and you can choose the color because we are definitely going to have a crazy guy who will go for this. So I'm not going to say that, but nice try, fellas. Nice try. One minute later. Uh, honey, can I die my mohawk? <laughs> She's joking. She's joking. She did not mean that. 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 No, she did not mean that, fellas. I just don't want to do that. Starting of the green and purple mohawk found. Fellas, are you actually thinking about doing this? Because, you know, uh, it's completely unnecessary. <laughs> you know, the DPM and the gun handling is actually okay. The bad things... Honey, that's not funny anymore. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Unless it's not funny anymore, <laughs> because jokes are jokes, and now I think I uh, I shouldn't ask my girl what I supposed to do because uh, I have a feeling uh, I will need to call for uh, for the hairdresser for appointment. Two sevenths, road to seven hundred. Oh well, fellas, I have a feeling God <laughs> flowers in the chat for Bambi and the pay doctor and the kappa. Fair enough, I am man of my word, we are going to do this, but you need to figure out the color. Um, one thing is one color, okay? You cannot go with a color pattern. I believe that's fair. Pink. <laughs> pink. Pink out of all colors. Pink. It's okay. I will look. Go I will go do, uh, with a tank top. So let's go with a 48 pattern. Meanwhile, we have cruiser with a 50. Tell me what pink you used. Then I can try it as well. I will ask the color pattern for you quite easily, my man. Thank you. Tomorrow, I, I can imagine how everything is going to look like tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm scam I, I am calling for for um, that person who is making my hair and I'm saying, uh, so uh, pink color is okay, right? Just bleach my hair and make it pink. You look nervous, why? Well, I am just realizing my fate and my fate is destination fucked, okay? Konzixer coming with 100 and saying, do we have 700 now? No, you don't. Luckily, you don't. Luckily, you don't. You did yourself for 700 euros. Vivi did. Kyler's Vivi did. You missed that. Vivi did. What do you think, fellas? I mean to... Don't know how long it will take until I will get into suit. Will would look amazing. Fifty to go. That's it. Done. 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 If you are curious how dead inside person is looking like, you can look at me. And everything started like a funny joke. Everything started like hee hee ha ha. You know. <laughs> And you know what is the funniest thing of all this? 
Um, in the end of the month, I am having the medical um, commission for the military in a way, and I'm going to arrive there with a fucking pink haircut looking like this. This is this is going to be pretty damn awesome. This is going to be pretty damn good, fellas. This is going to be pretty damn awesome. Um, I'm telling you, this is going to be amazing. Uh, do we deserve a big wet kiss? Absolutely yes. Fellas, can we have Curva Flowers in the chat for all of those crazy mother truckers? Cruiser, Anonymous, Zahred, StQ, Konzixer, Cruiser the Bot, Bandit, uh, Hayavun, Kappa, Pay Doctor, Bond, Defcon, Cruiser the Bot, um, Nimaneba, Anonymous, Tau Games, congratulations, you made me to get the uh, pink moha congratulations i will need to keep this in mind never ever talk um, never ever talk about this okay you need to take her out for a dinner when you will have that here now, um, the thing is, what we are going to do next, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to ask uh, what kind of haircut, um, what kind of uh, color we should get. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think, fellas? I mean, today I will make a discount for, uh, for, uh, for 50 euros, I think we could have a haircut. Honey, how much? 50? And now, fellas, you know very, very well how the things happen. And as you can see, you cannot make a joke on the internet because otherwise you are going to finish like I did. Anyways, um, today we are going to have two extremely good um, battles with Su-101 and with a slipper. Uh, and listen to me uh, why we are going to have those um, those tanks in action. As you know, we have a top of the tree usually with a two tanks in a month. So this month we have a Bobject line and Vaka line. And how the things are looking like, I'm grinding field modifications. As you can see, Vaka line and the Bobject line over there. I am using this 5x experience to grind the field modifications and it just happened we had an absolutely two amazing games. So we are going to show you this. This. And before going into the into those awesome games, fellas, please keep in mind we have index page, uh, and in the index page uh, you can see um, Daki opinion about the Clan vs Revar tanks and many many other things, fellas. Uh, and plus on top of that, please keep this in mind we have Skill for L2 Extra channel which has absolutely everything um, with a lower tier. So that means tier five, tier six, tier seven. Uh, if you are into the lower tiers yourself feel free to check it out it costs absolutely nothing and feel free to subscribe there as well it is one button and you can make skill very very happy so thank you very much for that and without further ado let's go right into the action and we are back with the very first battle, fellas, and this game is absolutely nuts it is insane and it is amazing okay now First of all, we have time to talk about this tank. Fellas, I believe many of you would agree this tank after Su-101M1, uh, the tier 7 tank destroyer is a big fat disappointment. And majority of the people would say the same thing. Skill, but this tier 8 is so bad and I agree with you this tank is not great. I agree with you this tank can be a big pain in the ass and I agree with you the tank is not good by any means. But even a bad tank can work and you will see everything in this battle. Um, I decided to use 440 alpha damage gun on this tank because of the base uh, standard penetration as 258 millimeters and shell velocity is also 850 meters which is not the finest gold ammunition 440 alpha damage 340 millimeters of penetration and this is obviously the highlight of the tank and this is absolutely amazing. So. The map we are playing currently is Steps and what do we have? We have quite an interesting situation if you would ask me. If you would pay attention at the Maxi map we have, well, it is, it is not great, okay? 
Our team is not securing the heavy line whatsoever. Our team do not have middle. Our team is losing by two guns and 5,000 hit points. I mean, I believe it's fair to say everything is looking like a big pain in the ass and it looks like uh, um, it is going to be game over like there is no tomorrow. And skill, I don't really understand why would you even share this with us. By the way, that was a direct hit. Uh, why would you even share this with us? It's not looking great whatsoever. Well, wait, fellas, wait. You are not building empire in one day. Everything is taking a bit of time and and what is good about this tank and probably a lot of people would agree with me is whenever you are playing hull down so whenever you are exposing only your upper hull um, it is not that simple to penetrate this tank especially over greater distance and this is how we are using this vehicle we are not going super duper hyper turbo aggressively with this tank uh, we are kind of using this vehicle as a sniper schnitzel in the same time, we are supporting our teammates uh, who are uh, taking one for the team as well. At this point, we loaded some gold and yeah, this is not very easy to penetrate, fellas. So I am trying to uh, aim very, very well. And as you can see, the gun handling is not looking that great as we would love to, but that's fine. Obviously, we are getting penetrated by the light tank like there is no tomorrow. But luckily for us, 263 decided to <coughs> say, I am a YOLO wagon. Whenever I'm going to grow up, I'm going to be a Bob Jet. Well... For that you still need to grow up my man and as you can see he is sitting in a huge 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 um, trap hole and he is pretty much sitting in the garage at this point we are losing this battle by three and a half thousand hit points although um we are winning by the two guns but this is not an easy situation for us this is not very simple fellas and as you can see in nowadays world of tanks no one is playing around while shooting high explosives at you or AP. Um, since World of Tanks players are so wealthy nowadays, majority of the times people are going to spam the gold at you. And once again, pay attention at this, my friends, 5.5 thousand minus hit points. Okay, let's make it minus 5 thousand. This is not looking good, fellas. It is truly not looking good, but there is still a lot of things we need to do. And this is what we are working for. We are paying attention at the maxi map and we are seeing the T-30 in the open field. And T-30 is not in the open field anymore, which is a bit of the disappointment. Now we are seeing the E-75 trying to make a bit of pressure for us. And for E75, undoubtedly we are going to load the um, gold ammunition and we are missing a pretty good shot. The distance wasn't that bad uh, or that long and the aim obviously wasn't fully aimed, but we could definitely hit him. Can we finish him off, please? Yes, we can. Beautiful. We are sitting on the four kills at this point. We have 2.7 thousand visible damage and there is still a lot of things for us to do. Although very impressive thing um, which we need to say is our team is still winning by amount of the guns even though amount of the hit points is definitely not in our favor beautiful shot into the suka perishing side he's down to one shotable pretty much for everyone and we are feeling relatively great now I don't want to sit in the same position anymore. I am thinking about uh, flanking enemies. Maybe we can actually go through the middle of the field and we can uh, flank them. And in the same time, we have a Skoda who has the most of the hit points because everyone here uh, are down to one shotable. And I believe that's fair to say, and it is uh, uh, very clear to see as well. So uh, in the same time, another thing which I really want to highlight, fellas, World of Tanks games are taking 15 minutes. Don't think about winning every single game instantly after one minute or so. Um, whenever the situation is looking like this, you can simply wait until enemies will be impatient. And once again, uh, pay attention at the timer in the right side corner nine minutes into the battle left it's okay even though we have a bit of armor we don't need to go in front while bouncing our chest and by saying Bleh. we don't need to do that meanwhile Bor uh, meanwhile Rene is saying give them a banana skill from me Rene, we will definitely give them some bananas 
you can be sure about this. So, once again, patience, 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 patience. We are losing by the guns, we are losing by the hit points, and I really want to see enemy um, become moving here in the open field, right? It would be absolutely amazing. Although, please keep this in mind, um, the view range of this tank is far away from being ideal and far away from being ooh, perfect, you know? By sitting in the middle of the bush, this is going to be mwah, amazing. No, it's not. Meanwhile, Vaka is getting spotted. I try Try to um, snapshot him. Unfortunately, I failed doing so. But that means this gentleman doesn't know where I am. So what he might do, he might... Um try to go in front or alternatively he might go backwards we are losing by two guns and by one and a half thousand hit points and once again not ideal situation for us but i have a hope this vaka will push backwards i have a bloody hope and look at this um vaka made a mistake we he went back and he took one for the team absolutely amazing meanwhile our skoda is flanking enemy arta or someone else doesn't really matter and our leopatani needs our help otherwise he is going to see it in the deep sh deep shit hole so what we need to do we need to go up like this even though we, if we are in the middle of the field and we need to smack this uh, trash 103 beautiful shot into the ass with a bit of the high roll that's absolutely amazing meanwhile i'm thinking can we find a decent angle for the t30 and uh, unfortunately we are missing our shot at this point i really want to go in front and help our Leopata because otherwise we are going to have a lot of a lot of troubles and as you can see Leopata is dead don't give up yet it is completely fine we still can smack borat or alternatively we can eliminate the um suka pershing from the game and at this point i am waiting until he will mess up borat is going through the middle of the field unfortunately i cannot find a decent angle and that was a hit how the flying F that happened, I don't know, but my father is working in our gaming. So if you have any silly goose questions, um, all questions goes to my father. Meanwhile, Suka Pershing missed his shot or actually bounced his shot, which is very nice. And at this point, I am um, trying to figure out how to eliminate guns. This is what we need to do. We are losing the game by the guns. We are losing the game by the hit points. Borat is going through the middle of the field and he is... Ta -ta 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 He's flanking us, no bueno. But that's completely fine. He knows how to drift. He drifted here, but it is not going to be fun for him. And I can tell you why is it not going to be fun. Because I am slowly but surely getting to the position. Auto aim, high explosives. He is dead. 460 in the face. Nice. Meanwhile, we have a Suka Pershing here in front. We are loading the standard ammunition. And did you hear that big bang? That means T30 just missed. That's very nice. And Suka Pershing is eliminated from the game. We are sitting on the 8 kills and 5,000 visible damage already, which is absolutely amazing. And at this point, uh, enemy T30 has an advantage. He has more hit points. He has turret. He has big caliber gun. And he has Arta in his... Uh, side in the same time fellas i definitely need to say we have a jeff as well and our jeff is doing pretty uh, good stuff as well meanwhile t30 is trying to flank us like this and i don't really mind why so because i have the strategy i am going to drop down like this and then i am going to try to chase him i know fellas uh, game mouse and cat T30 is running, we are chasing him. But T30 is thinking he's chasing us and we are running. Um, this is a mind game, fellas. This is literally a mind game. So what am I thinking? My overall prediction is T30 is going to go either like this or either like this. One out of two. And this is exactly what we want to see. And where is the T30? T30 is trying to escape and I did not manage to find a good answer angle to hit this guy so now from the guy who was running night because t30 was running we are running um luckily for us our art smacked him for solid 260 in the face that's nice but it is still not enough for us to kill him from the very first shot and this is very important thing to say meanwhile t30 is climbing up here that means i cannot find 
really easy angle to shoot him but that's okay maybe he is going to be brave enough to make pressure like so i have hits loaded so i can overmatch his yeah I can overmatch him quite easily and look at this beauty. We smacked him in the face. We are still on the reload. We have approximately 7 seconds left until we will finish reloading. And at this point, by the looks of it, enemy T30 is kind of angry and he is um, kind of going for us, I would say. Uh, obviously, enemy Arta missed us for pretty much majority of our hit points. But you know what? We are not too worried because T30 made a crucial mistake. We are sitting on the 9 kills all already and fellas I'm telling you, I can't stress this enough, Su-101 is not a great vehicle. It is not the tank which uh, we could say, yes, uh, we are playing with a chieftain, uh, we killed them all. No, Su-101 is not the more very competitive tank in the world of tanks. Um, and as you can see in the chat, I am asking, uh, sir, can I take that clicker? I am speaking about our, uh, uh, I am obviously asking our art because I really want to get the 10 kill um, with tank like Su-101. I believe this is completely understandable. Usually I don't care about the kills, but uh, this in this kind of situation I would say that's fair to ask. Meanwhile, we are aiming, 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 and garage. 10 kills, 6,000 damage, 400 assisting damage. Call me dirty, but I would say this battle is pretty good. Let's go into the scoreboard, shall we? And we are back, fellas, with a scoreboard. When I said we hit that blind shot, uh, by the looks of it, I was lying. We did not hit a blind shot. I repeat, we did not hit a blind shot, but it's okay. Look. 10 kills, 6.1 thousand damage, 400 assisting damage, obviously pulse medal, a top gun, a high caliber. I mean, call me dirty, but this game is out of this world and I think uh, we made this tank work pretty well. Speaking about the profits, 14,000 profits, which is also nice and the game took 13 minutes. It is very rare situation. You think we are done? No, no, no. We are just starting. The round number two, which is going to be uh, a very hard attempt to carry the game. Will we win this? Only time will tell. Let's go. And we are back to the battle, fellas. So as you can see, we have a Paris map and we are playing with Vaka Slipper and... Uh, I can tell you one thing, this battle is going to be a hard one, this battle is going to be a very challenging one, um, and you will see how important it is to prioritize the targets. Um, to target the tanks which are, well, down to one shotable or way more dangerous targets at the first place, right? Uh, this is very, very important thing to say. So how we are going to start our battle, we are going to the typical position, Kilo um, 7, because from that position you can get a lot of use. And even though I am kind of crossing through the open field, it doesn't really matter. The most important thing for us is to cross and obviously not to take any damage whatsoever. This would be very much appreciated. Meanwhile, enemy T49 eliminated our EBR from the game by one shot. So yikes for our EBR, what can I say? Hashtag never lucky. Now, now you are going to see a typical usage of this vehicle whenever you are taking the corner and, when, and whenever you are side scrapping on the corner. And this uh, has to do, this game will explain everything what is wrong with the Vaka in a way. So, I believe we had a video recently with this tank and the gun handling in this game uh, of this vehicle is just laughable. Um, but still you just hit E50M. Yes, indeed, I did hit E50M, but you will see how many shots we are going to miss to T and hash T was uh, 51. Pay attention, we are aiming uh, We are aiming for E50M, and I would say our aim was pretty decent uh, in order to hit him, but unfortunately the game said something else. And now for the next couple of minutes, obviously we are side scrapping here and we are trying to punish enemies. My aim is smooth as a butter okay 
This is how I feel like and unfortunately we are missing the shot. Luckily we are spotting this T and Hush so at least we can annoy him but other than that this is not ideal. Another quite okay shot or maybe not. Um, at this point, the Tian Hash tried to push a bit in front, right, and um, he dodged. Okay, let's say that shot wasn't greatly aimed from our side, right? And once again, for this game, we need to hold the corner and we need to make sure enemies are not going to make that much pressure for us. Meanwhile, I believe I do not need to say our other side is uh, evaporating and we are losing absolutely everything. Um, we have a deficit of 5,000 hit points. Okay, let's make deficit 6,000 hit points. Everything is looking pretty bad. Our team is making pressure through the middle and they are pretty much um, going into the crazy a crossfire and everything is looking bad but there is a reason why I picked this replay I know the start of the game is not looking very exciting and it is not looking that great but believe me there is a reason why I picked this one um, so far four minutes into the battle we have only one shot of damage and we have only 400 assisting damage but you know what that doesn't stop us uh, and we are not going to give up here I am thinking maybe I could hit that um, E3, but I decided to go for E100 once again. Pretty perfect aim, but unfortunately we are not finishing this guy off. And I am thinking, um, and I am thinking about this um, as a pretty damn horrible uh, situation. You know, nothing what I can change about this. Nothing what I can do about this. I would love to be more involved, but it just simply doesn't make any sense. Meanwhile, Type 64 uh, obviously has some heat loading and here showing where is my place and my place supposed to be in the garage but that's okay beautiful penetration into the frontal mantlet of type 61 i know it's not changing absolutely anything we are still sitting in the shithole um we are still losing uh, the game by humongous margin and what we need to do we need to prioritize the tanks who are down to one shotable i noticed this power was down to one shotable and obviously i went for it uh, but unfortunately we did not um manage to kill him. Anyways, at this point, we are having very interesting fight. We are fighting against Vaka, we are fighting against E75, Tian Hash, um, and Type 61, so we are taking our time and we are thinking how to get maximum use. I really want to eliminate the gun and Type 61 is dead, great. Um, and I believe it's fair to say this tank don't really have the... Um, this tank is not the finest against the people who are shooting hits at you because uh, for some reason fellas German guns do not really like the hit ammunition. Meanwhile E50 um, M managed to smack us and uh, uh, he knocked our gun but it doesn't really matter. I am still feeling pretty well with all this and I am paying attention at this E50 M and I am thinking hmm uh, can this Tianha shoot me as you can see he can. I am Moving peer, peer, peer back a bit and I am thinking okay how about if I would smack this Tian Hash for once and after that um, I would eliminate the E50M from the game but to eliminate E50M from the game maybe better call um, would be to have the high explosive ammunition although E50M is kind of shit at his pants so we are waiting for Tian Hash I know I can kill him I all I need to do I need to see a good angle and beautiful 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 this is very nice at this point fellas um the game is definitely not equal enemies are winning this battle obviously but that's completely fine schnei into the e50m um, enemies have five guns left we have uh, um two guns left we have a budget and we have a slipper and from this moment, this game is actually starting. We are smacking the Vaka. So Vaka, Vaka has only 1.2 thousand hit points. I see the budget. Budget is kind of down to one shotable, but he is not going directly for us. So what that basically means for us, that basically means we can try to shoot Vaka maybe um, once more until the budget will arrive. And at this point, fellas, um, I think I made up my decision. I know I could shoot Vaka. Should I shoot Vaka? I 
I shoot Vaka and for a next shot I am going to keep my next shot uh, for the budget for obvious reasons. Watch this. This is going to be pretty good. You see I'm not even paying attention at this Vaka. I don't care. I am paying attention at the budget. I am looking into the max map and budget. No budget it is about the time to arrive and budget is... Garage, beautiful, very, very nice. Now Vaka is trying to flank us. This is the weirdest uh, fight ever. Vaka is trying to um, flank Vaka. Slipper against the Slipper. And at this point, I am going for a base defense. Um... Even though we are winning on a bit of HP, it is not looking great because 20 seconds and this is going to be absolutely game over. This is going to be disgusting. If it is not enough, we have T49 in the back and we have the T30 in the back. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is not looking great. Meanwhile, enemy T49 did not penetrate us with a gold ammunition and that's bad. Watch the timer. We spotted the enemy tank. We are aiming. 3, 2, 1, shoot! Boom! 100 kills points the capture t49 is trying to flank us he's going for us and he is bouncing once again the heat ammunition unlucky Meanwhile, T30 just fired, I hear that, so we are prioritizing the gun, and he is dead. Beautiful gameplay. Now, at this point, whenever you are against the light tank, honestly, there is only one way how you can do the things. I try to trick him, um, but um, T49 did not took my bait, and... Um, he went somewhere elsewhere. Unfortunately, I did not find him. So at this point, we could go only into the cap. And now those five minutes of the time, obviously you are seeing everything sped up. Um, this is not so simple and this is not so easy. Pretty much what is happening, I am trying to cap the base. I will get one decap. I will get second decap. Uh, it's just how it goes, right? Um, because the light tank has a camo, light tank has a derby gun and light tank can decap us once or twice. He hit us on the move. That was pretty good if you would ask me. Now I am trying to relocate a bit. I am using the tent. Unfortunately, he is hitting us via the tent. We are knocking those trees down. So at this point, um, T-49 cannot outspot us. He is going for a blind shot. He is trying to blind shot me once. He is trying to blind shot me twice. I am digging deeper into the bush. So uh, it is way harder to spot me if he is going to get involved and as you can see the timer is on one minute already and we are winning the game because uh, um, enemy T49 did not manage it to decap the base in time right so that's the game number two let's see the scoreboard shall we and we are back fellas with solid ace top gun Steel Wall, Invader, Defender, 100% captured, 100% decaptured, 5 kills, um, sorry, 6 kills, 5,000 damage, 600 assisting damage, 1.5 base experience. Fellas, uh, this game was absolutely amazing and obviously kudos to our budget who survived for so long and he helped us obviously. Um, and obviously the T49 who was trying to do his best but in the end of the day, uh, he did not manage it to win the battle. Uh, it was a very, very, very nice game. And even though we don't have 10,000 damage or 10 kills, it was truly amazing game. And I really wanted to share that with you. So thank you very much for watching, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, a bit different format and overall story speaking how uh, this abomination uh, um, happened to be on my head. I hope hope I made your day just tiny touch better and obviously thank you very much for your generosity for taking your time to watch uh, YouTube videos while you are on the toilet or not or while you are trying to fall asleep I hope your partner is not smacking you too much because you are um, looking the video too loud and thank you very much for all sponsors in a way um what do i mean by saying that uh, people who are clicking the join button patron uh, people who are buying bananas on the index page right which is over there i appreciate you and i hope i am worth the generosity which you are giving to me so thank you very much and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace